Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jeff Burr with The Tattooed Spirit. We're moving along now deeper into the last line, into those deep, heavy-duty, universal, out-of-self experience of the influences that affect our lives. We're moving past where we were with the star, that time, those times in your life, whenever it is very much encouraged by the cards, by the support, by the guidance of the cards and how all of that works, to just enjoy the calm around you. And if you can't find the calm around you, it is then suggested to go find the calm that you can surround yourself in. From there we move into the next card, which is the moon. What does the moon represent? Well, it represents what happens after you have experienced the energies surrounding the star. Moon it's a good way to look at this card is this, like imagination and flow is pretty much in my mind how I renamed this card, imagination and flow. Because in the stillness of the star, you gain insights. I know actually myself, whenever I get inspired, it's after a wonderful time away from the world. This is whenever you take that new wantingness to experience that new state of enlightenment or that new state of an idea of what to create on your next canvas or a song. This is another artist card where it's called just bringing that which you found in the silence and the darkness into the light. Moon doesn't actually shed any light obviously. It reflects the sun. It reflects that sun which is a star. It reflects the, the enlightenment of the star, the prior card, and it also reflects the sun card, which is coming next. It's the happiest card in the deck. This is the initiation to get into your life in a new way as an enlightened figure, being deeply, deeply affected where every movement then becomes inspired. What does that mean, Jeff? What does that mean whenever I draw the moon? That means that it is safe for you to go about life in a new way. It is safe for you to open up to new spiritual experiences. I have had it come in for my clients in this particular way in the past. And in every single case, actually I could probably name four or five specific times, where they were scared and resistant to opening up their own psychic channels, their own intuitive channels, their own extra sensory perception type of feelings and kind of knowings without really knowing why that they know certain things. And any time that they resisted that because it was scary, it was out of their ordinary, it, it presented like this. So basically I tell you that to just remind you that whenever this card, this moon, turns in reverse, it means that it is safe to proceed in this situation with a relationship or a job or whatever in this new way of feeling. Actually, it's no accident that it comes in right under, under justice. The idea that you take it into the world with you, just how you took the, the revelations and enlightenments of this, everyone belonging to their own piece of this holographic universe, and just how you came to that still recognition and knowledge and understanding with the star, then you begin to take it into the world with you. Just like you take that experience of the Wheel of Fortune and you make it personal. You give it the, uh, a, a real personal take on those revelations. Now you can take the revelations in your star period and bring it into the world with you and feel confident and comfortable that those are indeed gifts. There's many different ways to do meditations with this moon card, but basically it means that it is safe for you to go about your life in a new way. Perhaps you've been resisting a new way of being. A lot of the surrounding cards that come up and influence around this card are going to give you a much better idea. But for now, just know that this means that they see that little crayfish in there. That's the, the fear that's always kind of in the subconscious, but it never completely comes out of the water. Your fears are always still going to be there, living this enlightened life of this bottom row of the arcana, but they're always in check. That crayfish of fear never fully comes out of the water. These two pillows here, by the way, are really kind of the 
other side of what's behind the veil, that which you've gained insight and love, compassion, and so much just knowingness from this particular card, the High Priestess, now you've broken through the veil. Now it is your opportunity to live those realizations. Wonderful meditation with this card as well. When this card presents, it's time to go about action into your new way of being. And speaking of that, I will see you in just a moment for the most happiest card of the deck. This is undeniably just when you see the sun card coming, there's going to be a real wonderful realization to why I put another one of those dots right after the sun or before the sun. It always comes after the sun. Why I put another one of those dots before the sun. You want to stay tuned. I'll see you in a second.